Hi, I'm here today with Andrea Fagan. I think I first met you at church. Mm -hmm. Andrea is the music director at our church. She plays mm -hmm. the piano and the organ and she sings and she's fabulous. Mm -hmm. and, Thank you. Um, and you have like how many jobs? Five different jobs? Like 17 different jobs. 17? No, I, it's like five. Five, you teach music, right? Mm -hmm. And you teach piano. And you teach at Brookdale. Some mm -hmm. some of all your wisdom you share at Brookdale College. Mm -hmm. You're the Young Living Oil Lady, and what? Oh, you're a holistic health coach. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh! And she is a raw foodist, and you mm -hmm. do raw food certification. Not 100% raw, but I do teach. Um, I mix. You have to mix it up, you know. Right. But um, I do teach raw classes and uh, cooking classes, plant-based cooking classes. Tends to be more low glycemic, so right, um, which is very important. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and I was thinking coming over here, I, I eat very similar to you, except I eat spare ribs. Mm. You know, the rest of the <laughs> stuff is, you know, pretty much yeah. plant-based, but yeah. Um, so that's great. But I, I wanted to do this interview because you had such an impact on my life mm. with these, with the minimalist challenge. Mm -hmm. And I, I just wanted to read how things changed for me because we did a challenge in May where you would post like clean out your sock drawer today or clean out the Random. medicine cabinet. So every day I would go online and be so excited <laughs> for what Andrea would she tell was me the to best. do. She's, I she won is, the contest. She's the one all? that wins all the time. So for whoever's going to join us, you have to compete with her because she is the one that's very, very steady and consistent. Okay, right. <laughs> so all right, So I did a blog post on this and I think this is important. So there certainly was a shift this month. I have an easy cleaning schedule, which mm -hmm. my whole entire life I was envious of people who like would clean the bathroom on Tuesday and do mm -hmm. the sheets on Wednesday. But it's a phenomenal thing to have, Yeah, really. I have a clean house, a clean car, a clean tool shed, a clean desk, an organized junk drawer. I have embraced a lighter, simpler diet with lots of fruits and vegetables. Mm -hmm. I feel calmer. I feel good about my closet mm -hmm. and my minimalist wardrobe. Fitness is my fashion statement. I love open spaces, so to have less, you have more open space. I have a heightened awareness around gift giving, which mm. I thought for December, this is the perfect time for us to talk. Mm -hmm. I love functional, simple gifts that you love to give as mm -hmm. well. Right? Uh, less is more, buy what you need. And I, I, I lost like four pounds so during that, and it was just like such a natural, easy thing. Mm -hmm. So I just think it's so connected to health and mm -hmm. wellness and not having so much. Mm -hmm. So. Give me your spiel on it and you know how you affected other people and the impact. I don't know how it affected other people. I hope in positive ways, but I do think it's, um, you know, so many people just focus on diet and then don't exercise and so many people just focus on exercise and they eat poorly. And even when you get those two down, there's so much more, you know, right. um, uh, the most positive impact I think is clear thinking and clear thinking comes from the right foods getting enough sleep having all the primary foods or all the um, you know good relationships having feeling of you know a positive impact in your career and what you're doing in the world um, but I've always found in, in my own life even in college I used to whenever something mega important would happen and I got over it I would move my bed which is this weird thing. I feel but it's that so was perfect because you dust behind it. That's yeah, the only I just time. Would, I, would, I would need a new frame of mind or just I would, I would get rid of something or I would move something or I would, wow. you know, it's a, a little like feng shui. I didn't realize I was doing it. But, right. um, and I do, you know, the state of my desk is the state of my, of my mind and the state of the house is the state of my mind. So, oh. and it, it kind of goes back and forth. So if my house is clean, I do feel like I don't have the distraction so I can actually focus on what's important versus if it's not clean, um, I'll sit down for yoga. I've done this before and you know, I'll say, I'm going to, I'm going to have my yoga practice now, but I see a little dust bunny. So I stop my yoga practice and I go <laughs> clean that. So I, it's a distraction. All the clutter is a distraction. And I think that's, um, if we truly for 2018 want to, you know, meet our biggest goals I think we have to look at our life holistically and look at our home and it's not vain to want a clean decluttered home it's actually it makes a huge impact on everything on you know is your checkbook done is your are your bills on time are your you know all of that I think promotes better mental health so mm -hmm. stress or lack of it um, so getting organized and decluttering also the more you have the more you have to take care of so exactly. I could either take care of my relationships and my friends and my family or I can take care of my things right and I'm just not I'm done you know you can't take that with you so I think um, it's made a huge impact on me and I'm hoping 
I'm hoping, and I have seen that it's made a, a huge impact on other people as well to kind of look at that stuff and get rid of stuff. And by default, sometimes you get rid of pounds, you get rid of, you know, the anxiety that comes from whatever you have and then you stress eat. Right. So eating is not just about eating. Right. Eating is about everything. It's about, your health is about everything. So um, that little uh, positive move forward, I think, makes a big difference. Right. And I also think in some ways it's, you know, I know a lot of people have cleaning people, but in some ways it's nice to clean your own home. Yeah. Right? You know, so you take a half hour and do a, something a day mm -hmm. and you get up and move and, mm -hmm. and, that's, and that's nice. Yeah. yeah. That's great. Um, and then the, in June we, have to, we had to do the other challenge of getting rid of, like June 1st, one thing, June 2nd, two things. So that was, that that was, was a little bit one. harder. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, how many pencils can I get rid of? Yeah, right. <laughs> well, at some point you do run out of things. And, and even my husband, Nate, he's like, how do you still have things to get rid of? I'm like, there will always be things, even if it's like a cup that you haven't used in five years. There's even it's one cup, you know, you can still, right. you know, five holy socks, you know, whatever. Right, um, right. And then now it's, I think every day we get catalogs in the mail. And I just, yeah. I just, I, I don't even look, more or less, I don't even look. Because you start to want things again mm -hmm. at this time of year. So I'm trying to be very mm -hmm. mindful of that. Mm -hmm. Or you get one nice thing, right? Mm -hmm. To treat mm -hmm. yourself. Mm -hmm. yeah. You can also unenroll. You can call them and just say, you know, I don't want this catalog. Oh, I should call so the company. I call them all the time. And they still, you get them, you know, you get off the list for six months and then they kind of get you again. I'm like, I think I called. I told you I don't want this catalog. So, you know, right. you're nice well, about it. Well, it's a it, waste but... of money for them, too. And it's trees. Yes, and, right, yeah. right. Um, and the other thing we just kind of talked about this briefly before we started. I, a few years ago, it, I just came to the realization that I've lost the coziness in my life. Mm -hmm. And people wouldn't even understand what I was even saying mm -hmm. when I said that. But I know, I know you get it mm -hmm. from your posts and all mm -hmm. that. Um, so I would love for you to talk about be cozy and how, mm -hmm. how are you able to be cozy and to create coziness in your home? I think, um, so we have a cozy, we have a Higa challenge. A Higa is... Higa. Um, I know Higa. Because of her. <laughs> Higa is something that I've always kind of done and I didn't know it, but I've heard from other people that I do it. I'm like, what is this all about? So You have to be Danish or something, don't you? Isn't um, it Danish? No, it's just a, it's a, I'm European, so it's oh, a right. little, right. I think it, it might be just be, it's based in, in uh, you know, in that tradition, but I think it's a whole European thing, which is slow down this, you know, the siesta or the, you know, slow down and really have a good meal with family. So when you go to Romania, where I'm from, you will, they will put you down and any friend of mine is a friend of theirs. Any family member, you know, a new family member of mine is a family member of theirs. Yeah. So they'll sit you down and they'll feed you. If you visit seven people, you will have seven meals that well, day. We gotta and go. it's just, <laughs> we gotta go. <laughs> and it's just kind of how that country is. So you take I time. I you're in here good. Yeah. I'm, I'm good. <laughs> um, that's just kind of what you do. You make time because that's the most important thing is people and slowing down. So Higa is the, the notion of creating a cozy life, slowing down, focusing on nature, focusing on slow moments, focusing on um, warmth. And I think part of it is because it tends to be obviously cold in winter. So you're going to look for these kinds of moments. So there's a way to do Higa in the summer and there's a way to do Higa in the winter. Uh, but our challenge starts tomorrow, December 1st. This is Depends perfect. on when she's going to yeah. post this. Uh, <laughs> December 1st. So every single day, um, I will post an aspect of Higa to kind of challenge you to try it on. Maybe it's make a cup of tea and just sit, you know, um, make your bed and cuddle with, a, you know, a blanket or read your favorite book. And we, that, all of that impacts our health and excuse me, in great ways. It's not just reading a book because you want to access the information and learn and grow and compete. And it's just reading a book because you just love it. Reading right. a book, reading poetry by E. Cummings or reading um, a history book or, you know, just something lovely for you. So every day we're going to uh, post something and challenge people. And at the end, whoever has the most creative posts <laughs> and uh, which is probably going to be Mary um, or anybody else who'd like to compete with Mary because right. she's really good. I'm just letting you know <laughs> she she's really, really good about taking on a challenge. But I think you're so I love how proactive you are about your health and every little nook and cranny of creating that health and wellness for you. And I think that's why you're so good at it. You know, it's, you take on the challenge to say like, if this is going to make my life better for the next 30 days, I'm in, right. let's do it. Right. So there's, um, you know, a link that I can send out basically gives people the rules 
of how to do it because at the end there is um, a giveaway or possibly two or three so so tell people where they can find you so littlebitesofjoy.com on the blog um, also little bites of joy on Instagram the two rules are to follow on Instagram and to follow on Facebook and both of those are little bites of joy um, and then to you know respond hashtag little bites of joy and also to follow through and post your own you know Andrea said try this for five minutes of your life just try it for five minutes and how did it go and what feelings did you have and did it impact your health did you impact your family in a more positive way or are you you know we're trying to um, specifically in December slow down because I think it can be the mega month of get it done see family and it's and it's hurried it's not high it's quality not, and it's not fun right yeah it's not um it's meant to be quality time but it ends up not being because you want to just squeeze so much in so it's the complete antithesis of that is how do we create really uh, calm relaxing moments in the perfect season that just does not allow for that you know right. and we have to we have to make it happen and remember that that's important right I'll just say one other thing and then we'll we'll end this I like my for my Thanksgiving I made it gluten-free you know and I really made a like I made mashed cauliflower instead of mm. mashed potatoes really low glycemic you know as you know well we had some treats but and even in December you know to break tradition you don't have to have so much sugar and flour mm -hmm. because you end up getting sick by January right? yeah and yeah. so I know you're so great at making low glycemic desserts and things like mm -hmm. that so um, Thank so, you. So follow, so nice. follow Andrea so nice. and have a happy, healthy December. Yes. Thank you so Absolutely. much. Thank you. This is great. It was so lovely to be with you. And Bye. compete with Mary. <laughs> <laughs>